My name's uh, Charlie McCann. I'm uh, 23 and I'm from Sydney, New South Wales. My interest in comedy started when I was probably about eight. Uh, my dad would like, make me and my brother watch shows like Seinfeld and, and The Simpsons. I loved it immediately and I was just obsessed with comedy from, from then on. So It's just like starting to hit me now. Like, I've been getting progressively more nervous throughout the day, so hopefully when I get out there it'll be fine. Like I said, it's very hard to find information on these people that haven't done gigs before, but thankfully this next act is on Tinder and that's how I got his introduction. <laughs> So, please welcome to the stage a man who lives in Sydney and likes reading and tennis. It's Charlie McCann. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. I went to uh, I went to Coles the other day. I was uh, I was buying some juice, and it said on it said on one of the juices it had a label. And it said, uh, it said, new recipe, easier to pour. And I just thought, finally. <laughs> now, next time I want a glass of juice, I can just put the power tools away and let gravity take care of it. So. I, was, uh, I was watching this documentary about Hitler. And they, said he, um, they said he committed suicide, you know? It's sad. It makes you think that just, if only his friends had been paying closer attention to the warning signs. <laughs> might, uh, he might still be with us. Huh? <laughs> and that's why Are You Okay Day is so important, guys. Huh? <laughs> I was having an argument with this guy uh, about the law, and he's like, uh, he's like, well, my dad's a lawyer. So I'd know. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize your family members' experiences were transferable. <laughs> In that case, let me tell you about the time that I was pregnant with twins. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm an Aries. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. They usually get an applause break, but uh, that's, that's fine. I was reading my horoscope, uh, and it's like, a, it was like, Aries is this like laziness, bossiness, and tyranny. Yeah. It's, it's pretty heavy for a horoscope. You guys are just gonna bring up tyranny. You know? It's like Scorpio is this like cat cycling and genocide. I don't know, like maybe there's some truth to it. Like my best friend is a, is a Pisces, and I, I love that guy. But he just doesn't hate tyranny as much as I do. <laughs> I, uh, I saw this guy, uh, he, was, he was dressed up as a Ash Ketchum from Pokemon, but with the hat uh, from McDonald's. So that's pretty cool. Because that guy's got a dream, but he's also got a much more realistic plan B. <laughs> like, I'm sure he'd love to be a Pokemon master, uh, but I think he'll settle for assistant manager. <laughs> Guys, uh, big news out of Nando's. Huh? Yeah, they're doing, uh, they're doing gift cards now. I think, I think that's great. You get one of those for your boyfriend or girlfriend on their birthday. It's just a great way to say, hey, I know you're into chicken. <laughs> While also saying, obviously, I think we should see other people. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was reading about this guy, he, um, he abducted a woman and he kept her as his sex slave for like 18 years. Yeah. Still the most amazing part about that is just the fact that anybody would want to have sex with the same person for 18 years. <laughs> like say what you want about the guy, but at least he's loyal.
You guys, uh, you guys like that song, Hot Cross Buns? <laughs> you know, it's like Hot Cross Buns, one a penny, two a penny. I think, uh, I think that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> you can get one Hot Cross Bun for a penny, <laughs> but you can also get two Hot Cross Buns for a penny. <laughs> This guy is not a savvy businessman. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.